Καλησπέρα σας, καλοί φίλοι τριχαντές. Καλώς ορίσατε στην εκπομπή μας Faces, πρόσωπα. And I have two faces tonight. Let me turn to English and I try with my best English. I have... <laughs> welcome. I have uh, the mayor of Enfield, yeah. recently elected. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to say your name correctly. Shuna... Is that okay? Yeah. Shuna. Suna. Suna Harman. Yep, Suna Harman. Suna Harman. Suna yeah. Harman. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very happy to have you here. Thank you for the invite. Thank I'm you happy very to be much. here. Thank you very much. And Mr. George Savas, Councillor uh, for how many years? 55? 37. 37? I thought you were 37 more. years. Non-stop. 37 years non-stop. Non-stop in Enfield. Yes. Same word. Mr. George Savas, let me just ask you, how you manage to be elected every time? I mean, how? What, what is the, with, what is they the love secret? Him. What they is this? love him. With great difficulty, but he was... Uh, we had to make sacrifices to last that long. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've lost... Um, we missed a number of things. My favorite football match, for example. My favorite ah, okay. play on television. Yeah, uh, yeah. You have to be... Determined dedicated. To, to no, dedicated. That's, that's yes, the word. That's the word, yes. Uh, I'm going to start with a question. Uh, which is going to take us a bit, you know, a few years back. Yeah, about 43 years back. 43? Yeah. I was thinking about 33. <laughs> but it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, 43 years ago, you born. Yeah. But where you born? And give, give me a little bit of information about your family yeah. and, the, and the place you born. Okay, I was born in Turkey. Okay. A, normally, we stay in a city. But summertime, my family used to go back to village where my granddads were from. Uh -huh. It's called Kaleboyun. It's a small village in Marash. Okay. Because my parents, they're Turkish Kurdish, so uh -huh. they've got Kurdish background, and my dad, it's a massive family, so there's 11 of them. Okay. So I came out to a very big massive family, big yeah. family. Mm -hmm. So in a small village house, we was all together at summertime. I could say 30 cousins and uncles and aunties. Mm. The whole village? The whole village, yes, was, yeah. whole village was ours, yeah. Okay. All right. And, uh, well, how was it those days, I mean, in a village? In the village, it was, it was quite hard and easy, I should say, because there was no electricity. Oh, my God. Before I came to UK, in our village, there was no electricity. Oh. There was no water, so I had to physically carry the water from the yeah oh, yeah because uh, my parents came to this country two years before me okay so we were staying in the village for two years without my parents you so have I brothers and sisters i've got two brothers okay they plus, were with you yes. yeah and mm -hmm. plus two of my uncle had their kids left there as well okay one was boy and the other one's little baby girl uh -huh. so i was the eldest i was only 11 but i, I had to sort of take the responsibility to look after them with Did my you? grandma my God, yeah. Yeah, I and can imagine. Um, but yeah. I still loved being there with, yes, you yes. know, with the family. Well, having that close it, relationship. It's your roots, yes. And, yeah, uh, you know, those yeah. years when you are a, a young girl, you know, I mean, the memories are yeah. there Shockingly, all the time. When yes. I come back um, summer, because I lost my dad six years ago, uh -huh. and I go to the village to visit his yard every year, and now the stuff I was carrying, I could have managed them now. Mm -hmm. I was 11, I was managed to carry those waters. And but now I, you... I can't, I'm not strong enough. Yeah, well... Uh, I don't I, understand I suppose, how I managed I it then. Yeah, I suppose, you know, I mean, you, uh, you, you've been used so much, uh, yeah. you know, family, uh, you have kids and yeah, all this I've kind of thing. Yeah, I've got two kids, three kids now, three. Cooking and, uh, you know, cleaning the house and all this kind of thing. Yeah, yes. oh, and the age and but I'm getting that, old. That time, <laughs> yes, yeah, no, not all, you are <laughs> still a baby. Yeah, I mean, 43, yes. Anyway, uh, so uh, you miss those days, you miss them. I miss yeah. those days, why do I miss those days? I think... Families and it was it was people were most closer to each other. Absolutely. There was no TV. Mm. When we wanted to play, we was outside to play, and then only time we come back home yes. to sleep. Yes, yes. Mm. It was picking up the apples from the trees. It was getting the tomatoes from the ground. It oh was all fresh. God. So it was. It all was. It was like my village. Yeah. I born in a village, and it was the same. Absolutely. I mean, I. 
talking to me about your uh, village now and about what you were doing all this kind of thing, I can yeah. go back and I can see my tomatoes, my cucumbers, cucumber, uh, you know, the potatoes, apples, apples, the olives and all this kind of thing. Cherries. You know, in the yard. Yes, 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 all this. Yeah, and my mind? uncle, my yeah. granddad had cows, so we was getting our own milk. Uh -huh. It, it was it was different. Yeah, I know. Different I know. experience. You know, I'm going to mix this with uh, questions uh, about you as well, about uh, Mr. George Savas, because I want I call him Uncle George. Uncle George, yes. How, why yes. do I call you Uncle George? Uncle uh, George uh, is from <laughs> Lefkara, Lefkara. And his village is one of the best villages in Cyprus. One of the most beautiful. Yes, and one of the most beautiful. So, George. Mr. George Savas, can you give me George, George. Yeah, a little bit of information about your village and yourself, you know, and, uh, you know, just, I mix it all. We, yeah, we do, compare. You know, I yes, mean, you don't mind. You, I mean, I'm going to cover anything I wanted to no ask problem. you, but I, because of George course. is here, you know, yes. I want to compare this. You know, The I mean? way of life yeah, yeah. Uh, that was presented to us, how they lived in your town, in your village, it's quite similar to ours. Similar, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Same fruit and like uh, mine and like you. Yeah, Cyprus is the same. In yeah. the summer, we Always go and help. Cyprus, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I visited yeah. so many yes, times. Yes, uh, we'll help in the farms, picking up the grapes for the yeah. wine. Oh, yes. And the uh, carrots. Uh -huh. And uh, we're helping. It, it was uh, very hard times, but very honest times. Yeah. And the respect. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. in abundance yes. there for each yes, other, definitely. and I think you have carried some of that old respect, calling other people uncles, and yeah. it's a it's a very moving thing to be called by the mayor Vasily. Yes, uncle, uncle. My yes. God, who would have thought of that? Yeah, you know and something. I'm going to say something which is uh, very important, and this is the truth. I mean, people. I mean, who we are, um, you know, uh, what we've been through. You understand? It's like Ithaki, yeah. Mr. George. We have our Ithaki, each one of us. You know what I mean? And what we meet and what we have in our road to Ithaka is this what we become. Yeah. So the young ages, you know, like you and me and George, when we were born in a village, that was a real life and a true life. And that's why we become, I think we become more... Um, humans. Mm -hmm. exactly. what, yeah. And the mayor was a lot fitter then. when she was <laughs> there. Yes, definitely. That's why people yeah. lived, lived a, lo a lo longer, longer yeah, and yeah. healthier. I remember but, uh, this. I was, I was carrying, uh, you know, the water and all yeah, this. Yeah, uh, metal thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the they sigla. Say, yeah, the they sigla, I mean. yeah. Sigla, yeah. You know what I mean. And they say, look, the mayor is the mayor now from the village, but success but is not where what she you came from. wear, where uh, she what came you are. From. What, yeah, exactly. where she came from and what is inside. Absolutely. The, what about the character? And it's sure. a matter of a character. Sure. It's a credit to... And you are a beautiful character. Oh, thank you. You know, you. people who are open and talk to everyone without any hesitation, these are the true people. I think it's the honesty yeah. is the main key thing. <laughs> the honesty, yes. Honesty. So, shall I ask you now um, about... I mean, you came here when you were 13. Yeah. And, um, you know, your parents were here already, yes? Yeah. And uh, how you find it? I mean, 13-year-old girl came with your brothers, yeah? Yeah, All together. two brothers. How you find it when you arrived in England? When I arrived, um, I found it so different. Yeah. Because I thought the older houses look the same. Mm -hmm. I said, how am I going to find my way? <laughs> Oh my God. You know, that's how, that's some, some instance, um, <laughs> friends used to tell us that we need to take our shoes off when we go into the bus. Yes. And I was about to, and I noticed people are walking up with that shoe. So you didn't? I didn't. Take your, yes. But my cousin did. Did he? Yeah, because they told him it's, a, it's unrespectful. If you go into the second floor, you need to take off your shoes. Oh Bless my him. God. Yes. He didn't notice he took his shoes out. Yes, yes. We went to the shop to get sweet corn. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know how to explain ourselves. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll be going. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> so because you, when you don't speak the language, it's it's so difficult. Yes. So yeah. you tend to use your body language more. Exactly. Yes. And I have similar. Uh, yeah. Cases, I mean. Yes. I mean, all the. We all went through. through. Yeah. Yes. 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 And um, I remember when once my uncle went to the butchers and he said he wanted chicken. 
Ah. And he was like, <laughs> he, was, he went, no, yeah. he went to the head. <laughs> He, went, he was going like that. He goes, no, I want the husband, not the chicken. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> it's nice. So basically, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it was hard. Yeah. But when you're a younger age, I think it's it's easier. Yes, to it's easier to, to learn. And yeah. It's easier to get well, it How I learned in your the language, mind, yes. because when we go to school, nowadays there's extra lessons. They support children with English difficulties. It's a second too. language. Yeah. So you, you want... Uh, straight away to school when you are. I went straight. I mean, I had to wait three, four months for ah, a position to okay. be able to open up for the school. And the same your brothers, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My brothers went to primary school, so ah, they were lucky. Are they older than you? Or? They're younger than me. Are ah, younger? They, oh. I'm the eldest. In because the that's why you were looking after them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when 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 I first started the school, every time the teacher used to call my name and says, they used to say as soon as possible. I used to get up and say yes, Miss, thinking she's calling me. Ah, ah sooner, sooner. <laughs> so that was one of the tricks. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned to speak English with translating mm -hmm. to family. Yeah. So I used to go to doctors and say, Mummy's tummy hurt. Ah. And she will say, belly or headache. And I used to make a note. Yeah. And every night I used to go through the dictionary to yeah. mem memorize how oh to translate God. for family. Yes, yes. And within three months I started translating. Yes. Because so, I never gave up. Yeah. So, uh, comparing the traditions, uh, you find it very difficult. It was difficult. To very, eat. very. Yes, yeah, very difficult, yeah. Because, uh -huh. like, in, in our culture, if, if someone comes into the door, we have to call them uncles. Yeah. We have to stand yeah, when yeah. someone elder comes in to show them the respect. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it, it was difficult here. Like, you know something? I went to a Turkish uh, fish and chief show. Yeah. I have in my, you know, neighborhood. And as soon as I get in, this guy, you know, he was uh, maybe a few young, years younger yeah. than me. And he says to me, hello, uncle. Yeah. Thought, oh, my God. And I, I look and I thought, ah, it's me. I'm not that old it's enough to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but this is, uh, a you know, sign of respect. respect. A kind of respect, yes. Because when I is, first yeah. met Uncle George, um, mm -hmm. we was canvassing together. Yeah. And I went up to him and I said, because we were going to be in the same ward as well. Yes. Hazelbury ward. And I said, would you mind me calling you an Uncle George? Yes. And he said, oh, I would love that. It's good. I said, that's way of my, sh my uh, me showing respect to you. Yes. We call Uncle. Definitely. And since then, I think everyone in the council calls Uncle George but and Uncle George. But that's all we call, in our, our young generation, they call us Fia. Fia. Yeah. Fia. Yeah. They, yeah. They, do, they do some of our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you managed to uh, go to university as well? I've been Tell us about your uh, studies here. I mean, um, I've studied, my education here started from year nine. Mm -hmm. I did my GCSEs here. My, um, I've done college tourism. Mm -hmm. And then my, I've done my NVQ retail management. Okay. And I got married when I was 17. 17? Oh yeah. my God. And then you, d you have kids. Yeah. And then you decide to go back to university. I didn't go back to university. I didn't. I've done NVQ retail management outside uh -huh. while I was pregnant. Okay. And at the same time, I was working for Iceland. Iceland? And I worked my yeah. way up, started oh. as a cashier, my and I God. become the manager in the in Iceland, Iceland. In Haringey. Not here. I worked um, here as well. You were here as well. <laughs> now I know where I saw you. I just remember. No, I'm only joking. No. I'm only joking. You would never forget I'm me if you see me once. I'm only joking. I'm only so, yes, so your kids uh, were born straight away after married, uh, get married. Then, you three know, years later, I had my first later, child. First He's time. 24 now. Ah. He's engaged. Yeah. He's born. getting married. Engaged soon. with a, a, a Turkish girl? Yeah. And they um, get married soon, yeah? October. October? Yeah. Is, is the marriage, uh, I mean, the, you know, uh, is, it's is similar the same, to your similar weddings. Similar to our, yeah. yeah we pin money. I've been to one long time ago, a Turkish uh, yeah. you know, wedding. It's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Similar, yes. So, so yeah. much similar. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, I mean. Only thing is, you guys make hats and the scarves with the uh, money uh -huh. pinned to. Yeah, yeah. They just put it in a bag now ah, they, don't the bag, yeah. they don't hang it yeah because, yeah. It's, it's because too much you know <laughs> it, they, they don't they don't want everybody to know how much you get yeah. i suppose yes right when i got married you know in an envelope you mean they put, yes. they put it in an envelope yeah. yeah when i got married i, I got married um, in you know in birmingham when i okay. you know i was living there 
And um, because no one from my family was here because they, they didn't allow to come here. It oh, was yeah, just after yeah. the invasion. Yeah. Nobody was allowed to come. And I was, you know, getting married. I mean, I was in a church on this and there was, um, you know, I. I did, you know, we did uh, dance and yeah. uh, put money on us. Sir Taki, yeah? Yes, yeah, Taki and all this <laughs> kind of thing. But uh, I was crying, you know, all the way. And uh, because my mother, my brother and my brothers, yeah. they were in Cyprus, I was... But, uh, you know, uh, I managed to cover the expenses. Lovely. You know, yes, it was, uh, you know, Turkish difficult. Turkish and but Greek weddings are... Yeah. Quite expensive to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. COVID, sorry. Special, especially yeah. these days. So... Uh, now, when did you get involved in politics? I mean, politics is something different. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it's, you know. While I was working for Barclays, I was a business manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that you were. Yeah, uh, and I was yeah. at the same time. I was the secretary, general secretary for Alibi Culture Center. Okay. And I was going to all these different communities. And you centers. tell us about this center more, you know. Yeah, I will. Yes, please. I mean. Um, and I was from Barclays, I used to go into different community centers. So it could be Bangladeshi community center mm -hmm. or Greek community center, Turkish. So any community center that allows us to go there okay. to help their bank issues and open their accounts for them. And I became the general secretary in Alevi Cultural Center. At one day. Which is not far from here, is it? That was in Kingsland. Ah, in Kingsland. Yeah, that was okay. back in 2008. Uh -huh. okay. And while I was there, um, one of the MPs came into our community centre and said, there's so many Alevis in UK, mm -hmm. how come none of them are involved in politics? Why don't you get yes. involved in politics? Yeah. And that's how I start uh -huh. getting involved. And you, in um, you, I mean, uh, you join a party or how? how I mean, would that be? before I, I've sort of done canvassing and going into their meetings and everything, uh -huh. find out a bit more about them. And then, you and joined then the I've joined the party, yes. Yeah, which is, I suppose, the same party as uh, George Soros. Yeah, but with a different MP, Vasily, because MP. he was the then Lord Ted Graham. Ah. Ted yeah. Graham MP. Yeah. He, he was uh, always promoting the Cyprus issue uh -huh. um, in the House of Commons. Mm -hmm. I was not even a member then. But... Um, I was helping the Labour Party, but then when I heard him, how passionately he spoke about Cyprus, similar to yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to so Lamy, yeah. Um, I said I must go as soon as possible. And, and yeah, as soon as possible. I <laughs> said I must go and <laughs> sooner rather than later. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I must go and help this guy. I became a member of the Labour Party because of what. He believed, and the local Labour Party believed. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. yeah, nice. And so, then I had yeah. Uncle George. Yeah, I met him through canvassing, and, he and then you. we were in the same ward. Same ward, Hazelbury. And funny enough, Vasily, um, we had quite a few councillors coming through Hazelbury, mm -hmm. two Alevis, um, Sarah Karakus, Haidarulus, and, and myself, and um, Ali Bakir. Patricia Keshi, yeah. Patricia Keshi, and then Madame Mayor happens to be the third Alevi mayor mm -hmm. in Enfield within the within the within four years, four five years. Yeah. Okay. Can you give us uh, a little bit more information about this um, center? You know, you Alevi you, Center. Yes. Alevi Center is belief. Uh -huh. uh, us Alevis we. Center of our beliefs is humanity. Mm -hmm. One day, I would like you to come and yeah, come we'll, to the community yeah, center. Definitely. We'll arrange it, and I'll yeah, make we'll sure we arrange it and go and talk to people uh, there we've as got, well. Yes. We've got loads of leaflets about Alevism. Okay. Because Alevism, thanks to um, Mr. George Savas, yeah. Saba and Yorgo so Savas. many councils, mm -hmm. it's now on the institute as well. Alevi religion is on there as well. On Saturday. Churchfield. Yeah. Churchfield. Yeah. So, well, um, it was um, the least we could do for the community. We wanted something. We, we help Ale uh, Vasily, each and every community that comes to us for help. Are they? Alevi were very keen, and it shows they are very keen to join local mm -hmm. government. Yeah. And we've got 14. 14 Alevis out of 35 Labour councillors. Do you? 14. When in fact, my God, yeah. the 
conservative don't have a single Turkish mm -hmm. or a Levy mm -hmm. or black. But that's a politics which I'm here to say because she's not allowed to. Okay. But I would like to congratulate yeah. her yeah. and the community mm -hmm. for promoting their own people. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of lessons that we as a Cypriot community uh, can take examples from. Yeah. And follow their good examples because mm -hmm. they, I watched the Alevis, 14 of them. Okay. And how much energy they draw from each other and enthusiasm and yeah. zeal to yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And it makes me feel very happy on one side. And, I say, and I say, why couldn't we have more of our Greeks? Greek Yes, Cypriots, Cypriots, yes, yeah, here definitely. as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cypriots as a whole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, well, congratulations you must, uh, to you. You must do something about that, uh, yeah. Mr. Josavas. Yes. Where there is a will, do, there is a way. To, you have to do some, uh, you know, lectures. You know, and uh, let the sure. people know what they gonna gain by doing that, by getting involved. We discussed this before, Vasily. Yeah, yeah, we did. It's yes. not only about lectures. It's, it's not about easy. encouraging. Them. Yes. Encouraging them and. Uh, just by talking, and yeah. Yeah. Mm. she can say, the mayor can say more about that than okay. I can. But anyway, anyway, now you are a mayor. We ha I have so many things to ask you, but this <laughs> is just very important for me and uh, for our um, you know, audience. What are your priorities? Huh? My priorities, yeah. I mean, as a mayor, I want to go to as much as possible, visit the community centers as much as possible. Wow. And I like that, yes. yes. To be able yes. to, get the, all the faiths together. Because mm -hmm. in Turkey, unfortunately, Alevism is an, a religion that's been recognized by the government. Mm -hmm. So in our birth certificates, it says Muslims, where we are Alevis. Yeah, I know. And I believe, the center of my You're belief is humanity. You're talking about a, a Turkish government, you mean? Turkish government, uh -huh. in Turkey. Okay. And here, what I want to do is, I want to bring all the faiths groups together, uh -huh. so we know one on each other, we that's, respect one on each other, very important. and we can talk to one on each yeah, other. Yeah. I want to do a, a raise as money, as much money as possible mm -hmm. for the charities in our community. Okay, there are so many charities in the community, but you have your own charity as well. Which one is yeah. it? I mean, at the moment, I've chose cancer and autism. Uh -huh. I will add more to it. Uh -huh. The main reason I add cancer is I recently lost my best friend of cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to That's hear that. That's why I'm wearing her yes. rosette on me. This uh -huh. is hers. Okay. And today is actually my cousin's sixth anniversary. I lost him six years ago. Oh my God, I'm sorry. May he rest cancer. in peace. May he rest in peace, yeah. He was yes. only 42. Oh my so God. So I know there's so many people struggling with cancer. And after people pass away, the family is struggling even more. Uh -huh. So to get the awareness. Yes and also to raise money to support people mm -hmm. who are struggling with cancer and, s s how do I say, support the family yeah. who's going through all that you hard know, time. You know, I have uh, an idea and I'm going to tell you what my idea is. Sure. I'm going to, Yorgos is uh, smiling because he knows what I'm going to say. I'm going to organize, join the, yes, I'm going to organize an evening with music and dancing and all this kind of thing and to promote this um, oh. idea to your charities oh, and so help so them nice. uh, all the money goes you know we pay the expenses all the money goes oh, to your charity so, yes i'm going to so do nice. that i promise That's you very nice yes. of you no it, it's, um, it's something i've been doing for a long time for other charities and i want to do for you as well i mean my next yeah. event is recently what i said was We've got so many businesses in mm -hmm. Enfield, and I think we need to visit these businesses. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my chain. Uh -huh. my, my go to the shops. Go to the shops <laughs> and say, hi, I'm ah. the mayor of Enfield. Okay. How is your business doing? And if they need help, If you need you help, help I will have my assistants to take notes. Yes. <laughs> and I will have my bucket in my hand. Yes. Would you like to donate any money to the charities? Exactly. And in that way, yeah. These people are getting touched, these people are getting visited, yes. these people are getting their uh -huh. voice heard. Uh -huh. At the same time, I'm they getting help your charities. money for the charities and yes. they, they're actually getting aware because I'm going to get leaflets printed. Uh -huh. So the local businesses, local community centres, yeah. local charities are aware what I'm doing. Good, good, good. Congratulations. Thank yes. you. Okay, um, we have uh, a bit more time, you know, um, I'm 
Thank you very much, George. You are, uh, you are not pushing us because, you know, there's Thank many, you. I really many... feel at home. Yes. That's why I, I left my phone on. Didn't I know, yes, because silent. you thought, yes. <laughs> I thought I was at my neighbor's house. At home, yes. <laughs> so, um, now, we talked about your charity and uh, it's another thing I want to talk about it, which is uh, very, very, I think not many people care about it. We have so many cultures yeah. in this country, but our culture, for example, Greek culture, your culture, are not promoted enough. Yeah. What are you going to do? I mean, do you have any plans for cultures like, okay, you help in the communities and the, uh, their religions? I mean, I'm something? open to any suggestions. Yeah. As I'm newly elected, George yes. Mike, George is really, well, Uncle George is really good uh, at that. Your, that your idea is an excellent one. Yeah. In the past, we had a um, festival called Under One Sun. Uh -huh. So we held uh, activities in the parks mm -hmm. and at the Mifflin Theatre where different cultures with different food mm -hmm. and uh, yes. dishes came together. They okay. danced, they different costumes. Yeah. So you're planning to do this again? Then? Well, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I hope I can the get mayor, the funding. I, I wouldn't yeah, mind doing it at yes. all. It's, we had sponsors in those days, so yes, companies that were able to... Mm -hmm. But I think uh, it's, it, it will be quite easy to speak to people to get... Well, I mean, it, 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 I think it's a great idea. Yeah, definitely. I, I yes. thought of bringing all the faiths together, but uh -huh. at the same time, we, we can maybe organise something, because that's going to be in chamber. Mm -hmm. All the faiths going to come and... Mm -hmm if they want to dance, if they want to show the, the way they pray, uh -huh. or if they want to talk about the... Yes. And then it will be an open reception where they all gather together. And it's good and to know each other's culture. And the culture will be amazing. Absolutely. It will be amazing because uh, Forgive me, Vasily, like, but yes. this here, this interview here, and what we're saying, will go out to a number of people. Okay, hopefully definitely. Yeah. a couple of people who are willing to... They come to back to us and say, yeah. we want to help you. I'm, I'm yes. here to That's go... That's why I'm to, asking. Yes. Yes, I'm here open to any suggestions yeah i'm here to be able to visit any culture mm -hmm. any community center so whoever sends me an invite mm -hmm. i will do as much as i can i'm lucky i've got past mayors who's supporting me i've got my deputy mayor mm -hmm. so anywhere that i can't go i'm never returning anyone and i'm saying i'll send someone you if never I can't say be. no yeah it's ne i mean it won't be a good idea i mean yeah. To represent an Enfield, mm -hmm. you need to be there as much as you can Definitely. for their residents. And I have to say a big thank you to you for accepting my invitation to come to the first ever uh, Greek Arts Festival, which is going to be at the Milfi Theatre, 26th up to 30th. Yeah. And Mr. George Sava is going to be there as well. Thank you and for the invitation. Thank you for coming to open it and for coming to the Dune and Dance as well. I'm looking forward to it. Thank yes. you for the invite. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you for you accepting for the time. invitation. And thanks for coming to my mare making. <laughs> ah, it was lovely. <laughs> he liked yeah, the food. Enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it so much. My uh, husband cooks the, the food. I'm lucky. He cooked the food? Yeah. He is he? He's the oh chef. Oh my God, he's a very good chef. Yeah. So at home, who is cooking? You or him? He's, he's, Let he him does, cook he it. He does the <laughs> cooking. <laughs> I'll do my mayoral <laughs> job. <laughs> yes, you, you are a very busy woman, yes. Let him cook. <laughs> okay. And now, um, what is a usual day of a mayor's, you know, like for example... Ah, in the mayor's. A day in the mayor's. Yeah, day of the mayor's. Start day in the morning, mayor. wake up. Wash my face, do, do this my and hair, that. Do my makeup. Yes, and all this. <laughs> Remember, and then, I've got three well, kids at home. Kids, so. man. I'm, so my day. How old are they now? Four-year-old. Yeah, ah, four. Fifteen-year-old. And twenty. And twenty-four-year-old. Oh my God, plenty of difference. Yeah. I mean, because you know. always busy in life. Yes. I've been active in community centres. I've been active uh -huh. in politics. I've been active management roles. Oh so. my God, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about the <laughs> four-year-old one. You, know, you saw oh, him, Vasily. You saw him. He was crawling. While we was taking that was pictures. The one. Yeah, that was <laughs> oh. In every photo, you can see him on the oh floor. Oh my God, yeah, he's lovely. <laughs> yes. The Turkish TV, um, TV yeah. Londra, the lady was yes, doing yes. a meeting with me yeah. and she was asking me, woman power and I said if, if woman wants to do something there's nothing stopping that she woman do to it. do it yeah, and yeah. at that moment my son goes mommy I need to go to toilet and he took him to toilet <laughs> and I said this is a motherhood I need yeah. to take him to toilet now yes yes oh. may life I mean yeah. our diaries are organized by the secretary I mean I'm so lucky I've got a group of people who's supporting me in every sense uh -huh. cooler 
Kula is nice. She's yes. amazing. Kula's I mean, beautiful. I yeah, could yeah. not pass an interview without her mm -hmm. name. She organizes everything. She helps me with my speeches as well. Mm -hmm. And I'll go to the meetings. I'll go to the opening events. I'll go to the receptions. Very efficient. Yeah. Very, very active at the so moment. So you, you don't stay much in the office or, you know. Office, I mean, like tomorrow I'm getting people to come and visit me in the mm -hmm. parlor. Mm -hmm. I would love to have you guys there as well one day. Yeah. Come yeah, and have definitely. my coffee. We, we can arrange this, George. Yeah. I mean, we like tomorrow I've got to two you again and see, yeah, explain yeah, to us about everything. Parlor, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, and the parlor Mr. George is, not, is going to be there. It's not the somewhere media. that people yeah. can't attend. Mm -hmm. Anyone, residents. Community Uncle George. leaders. Uncle George. Uncle George. Uncle George. Anyone can come and visit. I can show you. I'm you know what he says now? Explain. 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 Um, Libio Martis put this out. He says, during the Lent. Phrase we say, you know. During the Lent. Yeah. yeah. March is included always. Whether. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> There's a different saying in Turkish. <laughs> we say every food you put, you have to put parsley in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the parsley. Yes. I'm so a parsley. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, parsley is very good. It's got vitamin C. Healthy. <laughs> very okay, healthy. Okay, so uh, now, um, uh, do you have any, I mean, copies? You do anything? You play music? You sing? You oh. you write? Uh, what do you I do? I used to... Do you have, first of all, you have a free time? Now... Not at the moment. Less. Yes. Less. less. I mean, I'm going to some uh, meeting after this as well. Uh -huh. So sometimes I get home 11, 11.30. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah um, and then I've got a business that I work with as well. So I, I go to open the canteen as well. It's 5.30 in the morning. What time? Yeah. 5.30 in the morning. Tomorrow? Yeah. Open the canteen 5.30? Yeah. Oh my God. So bu Sorry. busy, busy schedule. Yes, yes. And then after that, I'll be going to the chamber. Uh huh the parlor to see some guests there um i mean life is busy but i still make time for myself and my children yes i always make sure like it's you know important, yeah. when i get home we have to all sit around the table together mm -hmm. i mean it's only the time that if i can't go home on time for the table to sit together but my family will even yes. if i'm not there yeah and my husband will wait for me definitely, definitely. I'm, I'm a lucky woman yeah. As I say in life, if you don't have friends and family, especially family, helping yeah. you out, you, being on your yes. side, you can't do anything. No, no, no. You you need your friends and family. Of course. You know, uh, friends are the... And you are a manager as well of the business. Yeah. You, you, you manage business. the business as well. Yeah. How many restaurants uh, do you have? We've got two. Two. One yeah. is in... Uh, Kingsland High Street. Yes. And the other one's in Finchley. Finchley, yes. Istanbul. Yes. I heard you going to that one. So I am. I am going. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I've been. I actually have been invited from uh, your uh, husband. Yeah. And uh, Savas. Savas. His name yeah. is Savas. Yes. He's what is his actual name? Savas. Is it? Yeah. So it's Savas. Yeah. Call he's him he's, he's yes. got a great name. Ah, that's good. We are because cousins. That's why she's calling me uncle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uncle George. Yes. Savas. Yeah. Very. Okay. Uh, don't forget, Vasily, that I, my ancestors come from mm -hmm. from Asia Minor. So yeah. Sava was my uh, the my great great grand grandfather from Asia Minor. Oh, I so see. Okay, you never know. They In this case, I am I am going to ask uh, Mr. Josavas because uh, it's important for me to mention my country. Of course, Cyprus. of course, you know what I mean? and I love Cyprus. I've and been if you to want Cyprus to get involved, so many and you, times. yeah, if you, uh, you've been there, of so course, many times. so many times. Yeah. Where about? Even this summer. Um, Where I've are you going? Him, Which place are oh, you going? I'm terrible with names. Pavos, Limassol. Pavos, and then we went to Limassol. Ayanaba. Um, we yeah. drove Nicosia. from you Nicosia. Nicosia. Yes, what we do yeah. is we we go on the ferry boat, uh -huh. and then we'll drive around. Okay. Every year we do that. Lovely, lovely. And we we. We took a boat here. from, yeah, we, ah, we took a boat from Lamraka, yes. Yeah, you love Cyprus, yes. We love it. We're going this year as well, hopefully. Yes. Well, George, what do you think about the situation at the moment? I mean, we have new re-elected Mr. Erdogan, okay? And we have, uh, I mean, if you want to get involved, it's up to you. Because he is uh, one... Uh, who can answer the question yeah. easily, you know what I mean? So, and then we have Mr. Uh, Tatar, you know, every time when someone asks him, he's, 
uh, telling everyone that he's, uh, he wants his own uh, separate country. And we have our, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Christoulidis talking about looking forward to restart the dialogue. dialogue. Now, what and the situation in uh, you know uh, Russia, Ukraine. As, uh, the, the Ukraine, the war is still there and all this kind of thing. Mr. Um, Biden, you know, uh, uh, he's not sure what he's doing. What do you think? I mean, is it a possibility of uh, negotiations to uh, start again? And uh, there, there is always a possibility, Vasily, as long as uh, there is a will from all sides. Firstly, allow me to congratulate Mr. Erdogan on his win and trust that he will have the willingness to work with all the parties concerned, Mr. Christodoulidis, mm -hmm. uh, Tatar, and ev everybody else for the good of Cyprus and all the communities that live in it. Greek Cypriots, Turkish Cypriots, Maronites, Ar Armenians, mm -hmm. because there is a lot of trouble in, in the whole world. And sadly, I never get to hear anyone talking about peace. It's only about more and more weapons. And I think Mr. Zelensky should realize that asking for weapons for war, it, it will only lead to a lot of people getting killed of all ages in his country. Mm -hmm. I believe that we should be talking how to reach uh, peace, uh, how we can learn to live together yeah. and work together because there are so many millions of children living in poverty. Young couples cannot afford to buy their, their, uh, their own house. Prices are continuously going up. Mortgages are on the increase. And I think there's never a better time than now to talk about peace. And I hope all the leaders can get together. Mm -hmm. Pete from Mr. Christodoulidis, um, uh, Erdogan, Tatar, Erdogan. international uh, leaders. Uh, yeah, uh, the G20 so far have met about Pudding, the climate change. Oh. If Biden, they can achieve yes. the climate change, they good can dream. achieve yeah, yeah. a way to dream. Ah, that's a good it's learning a good dream. to live together. It's a good dream, George. It's a good dream, good dream. George. It's a good dream. Yeah. It's, a, it's so. a dream that. Um, yeah, uh, it's possible. What's his name? It's possible the, uh, to happen. It's, yeah. it it's can possible. Happen. It's up to us. It's up to us. We did it before. We can, we can do, do it again. again. True. Yes. True. So that's my message in my play, and I want to come and see it. I mean, you're going to be there that night, and it's going to be the first night, so you're going to see it. Yeah. And it's about uh, relationship between Turkish and Greeks, and we did it before. And we can do it again. We live together they before. They lived together, yes. and yeah. they never had I mean, a problem until in, the you're politicians right. got involved. I believe in people power. Yeah, and I think people can change a lot of things Definitely. if they can get together. All okay. I can say is, as Alevis, we put humanity in the centre of our belief. Mm -hmm. If you respect one and each other, there's no problem. Yeah. So remind me again about your charity and how can anyone help you for help. your charity? I mean, at the moment, cancer and autism. Okay. They can always donate money to mayor's office. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got accounts numbers they can always get in touch with Kula. Mm -hmm. She can give pass on the details. And if anyone wants to run a charity event like yourself, yes. I'm open to it and they're welcome to contact the mayor's office. Okay. Uh, and before we close this, uh, you know, and friendly autism. conversation, autism, autism, autism is it's very, very important. important. Autism very important. is very important. Yes, I mean, and for families to get sport and for children yeah. to get sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, at my workplace, we voluntarily have one girl from Cyprus. Mm -hmm. Her name is Shy. Yeah. And before she used to go out just with a carer or family, mm -hmm. but now working there, she has self confidence. Mm -hmm. Now she travels herself mm -hmm. home and to work as well, and she remembers every single person's name. There's five, six hundred people work there. She remembers each one of them name, giving them a chance, putting them in the public, giving them work opportunities, jobs opportunities, yeah. and we will encourage them as well. So, Mayor of 
uh, Enfield, Suna Harman. Yes. As soon as I go to the restaurant in Finchley. Yep, I'll be there. What is, oh, what is your favorite, uh, you know, uh, the dish. dish there so I can order it? Oh, lamb chops. <laughs> lamb chops. <laughs> okay. I love my meat. I shouldn't be saying that next to Labour Council, <laughs> but yeah, I love my meat. <laughs> no, we, no, when we are there, we eat the vegetables. <laughs> But yes, I have a dream. Martin Luther King. I have, I, I have a dream. We, have we a dream. all have Everybody a dream. Have and a dream. the dream is to live mm -hmm. peaceful Together. with no violation of hand human rights. Uh, yes. That's how it should that's, be. That's beautiful. I mean, this is what I like. You know, yeah, this is what that's I like. All together. Be. That's how it should be. All together, we can bring peace. Together. If we work together, we yeah, can together have a better we are better. days. You have a better days. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope so. Before you go, give us. A general message for everyone, especially for the youngsters and, you know, the kids and all this kind of thing, you know. I mean, um, for youngsters to be able to come and join the community centres and to be involved in politics as well, because younger generation are the generation who's going to look after us. Uh -huh. So if you want to get your voice heard, if you want to be part of something, you need to be in it. Yes. So, and also, I would need any help from any community centre, anyone, to help the charities and get their any voice heard. Organizations any volunteer organisations. Any volunteer organisations. And any invites to any opening events, I'm there Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Lovely, lovely. And thank you very much. Thank you very time. much, uh, Vasily. Thank you for uh, both coming here. Thank you, George. Thank you. I'm uh, very happy uh, the camera. to have you here. And I'm uh, be happy to see you very soon. Yeah. And come to your um, office and yeah. uh, talk about... Uh, you like to. Give us more well, information. The mayor invited me, says... George, yeah. come, and I, I cannot say no to the mayor. You cannot say no. 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 Thank you very much again. Thank you, Mr. And all thank the best. Very best. George, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First door. Thank you very much. Thank you. How do you say, I suppose you say, uh, merci, choc. Merci, choc. Merci, choc. And how do you say in Greek? Faristopoli. 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 Yes. After your gobu, Faristopoli, thank you very much uh, for your patience, and uh, thank you, uh, my audience, and uh, we see you next uh, Sunday, the same time, maybe with uh, another new face or faces. <laughs> Till then, uh, love yourselves and uh, be good. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs>